Hello and welcome to the fifth film in our Threshold series. In it, we consider how to construct a level access entrance. Today, many structures require threshold-free access at ground level due to the demand for inclusive building design. You can see from this entrance to our lecture hall building at the University of Erlangen that there is no significant difference in heights between the different spaces. This is necessary to allow people with disabilities access to the building. It's useful to cover the exterior space around the entrance door as a way of reducing the amount of water occurring outside the door. On the right here, under the bridge-like structure of the upper floor, you can see the open entrance door leading into the foyer of our Leipzig Provost Church. Though this entrance has a different type of covering to the main entrance, which is only used on high days and holidays, we used the same threshold design for both, integrating several different features designed to remove the threat of water ingress. To start with, we designed a very low threshold. In certain specific cases, accessibility regulations allow a difference in height of no more than 2 cm. Here, we set the paving in front of the door slightly deeper into the ground to provide space for any water that might build up over a short period and so delay the possible ingress of water. Any water that builds up despite this feature then drains away through a gutter placed immediately in front of the door. This type of drain is known as a slotted channel because the opening in the ground is no more than 2 cm wide and barely visible. Water tightness is guaranteed by a soft plastic sealing strip that presses against a stainless steel threshold strip. This prevents water droplets penetrating the connecting joint as a result of capillary action. As ever, both damp proofing and insulating layers must run continuously without break or interruption. Breaks or weak points in the insulation cause thermal bridges, which in the worst case scenario can lead to the invisible formation of condensation and so damage to the fabric of the building. Summary Today, many structures require threshold-free access at ground level due to the demand for inclusive building design. A combination of design features can be used to reduce the threat of water ingress. It's useful to cover the exterior space around the entrance door as a way of reducing the amount of water occurring outside the door. A slotted channel can also be laid in front of the door to allow any water that does build up to drain away. In certain specific cases, accessibility regulations allow a difference in height of no more than 2 cm. Please take a look at the sixth film in our Threshold series, in which we consider how to design a fully accessible door onto a roof terrace.